Hey y'all, welcome back. You had time to practice? Have you spent time with your banjo over the past few days? I hope so, because we're going to do something different today. We're going to learn something new at the end, but we're going to take the, the information from our last lesson, the banjo and the holla, we're going to take that forward and reverse roll, we're going to take our partial C chord, we're going to take our D7 chord, and we are going to build the second half of banjo and the holla. So no, no new material today. We're just going to take some stuff that we already know how to do and finish out this banjo and the holla break. And then at the end of the lesson, we'll learn a brand new role and give you something new and exciting to practice. So let's just dive right in. So the role we're using is the, is the one we practice. It's the five, two, one, five, one, two, three. So we're going to hold our partial C. That's that guy. Uh-oh, that's that guy right there. So index and middle. Index on the second, first fret. Middle on the first, second fret. So we're going to do five, two, one, five. And then it's open. One, two, three, one. So. And then you do it again. So, but the second time, and it open, hit your first string, and then pinch. So it's five, two, one, five, one, two, three, one, five, two, one, five, one, pinch. Nothing new. And then five, two, one, five, one, two, And then get your D7 chord. And we're going to do our alternate roll. Three, two, five, one. And then four, two, five, one. So it's just. You've already practiced that. You know it. Don't let your brain trick you into thinking that something new and different. It's not. All right. So here we go. All of those pieces up to there. So C chord. Five, two, one, five, open. Five, two, one, five, one, pinch, C chord. Open, one, two, three, one, D7, three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one. And there's, there's a C chord. One, two, three, one. This time it's just the same D7 three two five one three pinch. So let me go through all of that slow. I'll call it off as we do it. So it's all for, forward and reverse in alternate rolls and pinches. But it's stuff you know. All right, here we go. C chord five two one five one two three. Thank you. 
let's put that together with our high part. So the high part hadn't changed. So that's banjo in the hollow. So now you've got two songs. you got Cripple Creek and you got banjo in the hollow. And with those two rolls and that slide and uh, hammer on pull off that we did and some of those shapes, you've got a whole bunch of stuff that you can use to build other tunes with. But I want to give you one more roll pattern to be working on. And then I'm going to show you uh, we've been doing a partial C chord, so I'm going to show you the the whole C chord, and because because you'll need it, and so that so this will be your new material for today. So forward roll and a full C chord. So let's do the roll first. All right. So our roll. So the pattern is two two one. So it's two one. You can start it with your thumb. Thumb, middle, five, two, one, five, two, one. Or you can start it with your index. But that's all forward. Two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one. Two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one. Two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one. And I like to start it sometimes with my thumb, so I'll go two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one. But you can do it with your index. So that's your new roll. So spend a bunch of time with it. And now and now for your C chord, the whole thing move here a little bit get repositioned so we've been doing our partial c chord with our index here and our middle finger here all right so index is going to stay the same we're going to take instead of using our middle finger there use your ring finger right there on that one and then we're going to take our social finger and we're going to put it on the fourth string so ring finger second string uh, fret first string Index finger, second string, first fret, middle finger, fourth string, second fret. And that's our C chord. And when you practice that, when you practice that, you want to make sure that you don't have anything dead. So you don't want it to sound like... You want all those notes to ring out. And that's your full C chord, and, and, and we'll start using that. All right, so I'll back up here. So, folks, we're going to do probably one or two more lessons, probably just probably just one, and uh, and that's going to conclude our beginner our beginner banjo stuff. And now that doesn't mean that everything after this is not beginner because. Beginner can last a long time. It, 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 it can last as long as you need it to. And that's, that's perfectly okay. 
I don't expect that in seven or eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 lessons that you would go from beginner to even intermediate or advanced. You're going to be a beginner for a while, and that's okay. Don't rush this. I mean, let, let's face it. If, if, if this series ended right now, well, that's only eight lessons, and, and, and you can't expect to be a professional banjo player with eight lessons, uh, and, and that's okay. And I understand, and so will everybody else. So you just keep practicing this stuff, and don't don't stress out about it. It's going to be okay. You you can do this. This is a uh, this is what it's all about. So learn that forward roll. Learn that new C chord. When when you come back next time, we'll we'll try to uh, we'll try to show you. Boiling cabbage down, and but it's going to be stuff that you already kind of sort of already know. You know how to do slides, you know how to do hammer ons and pull offs, and you know how to do a forward and reverse roll, alternating roll, pinch pattern. And now by the end of the week, you'll be able to do a forward roll. So you got a bunch of tools in your toolbox that you can, you can build songs with. So that it's exciting, and but I want to challenge you, I want you to practice every day. I tell my students that come to me, especially my younger students, I say, look, I want you to practice banjo every day you brush your teeth. So if you brush your teeth, I want you to practice banjo. If you <laughs> get up and get dressed, practice banjo. I mean, every day, you don't even have to get dressed to practice banjo. So every day, spend some time with it. Uh, the more you practice, the quicker this stuff comes. So. Be sure to sh share these videos, and show them to your friends that are trying to learn to play banjo. Subscribe, and that way you won't miss anything. You won't have to constantly come back out here and look and say, hey, Jimbo, post any videos. Yeah, I might have. If you subscribe, you'll get a little notice on your YouTube page that I, I posted something new. And so be, be sure to do that, and be sure to hit the like button and tell your friends. And We'll see you next time. Bye.